Son. All right, so that felt pretty good, pretty light. No new injuries going on for this week or this month, so I'm happy about that. So we're gonna just go right into the 315 and start making that our working weight. Like I said, we're going into the heavier phase, the strength phase, getting that size back on. So the reps are gonna drop slightly, but not too much. You know, I still wanna be able to hopefully feel good, get a good pump, keep the form good, but the reps do drop. So we're gonna knock that out. So yeah, we're gonna have them to 315. I'm gonna do some more mobility work, make sure the elbows and these joints are nice and ready for it. And we're gonna make it happen, let's do it. Like I always say, training and this the workouts, it doesn't stop with the look. It doesn't stop with building a certain physique. That is a bonus. And that is your little ribbon, that's your little reward for staying dedicated and staying disciplined. But this is a tool. It's the tool to develop the discipline, a tool to develop commitment, that resilience. All of those characteristics or traits, whatever they are, that can then spill over. <laughs> that is one of the most important things for me. I had to create an environment for myself. I had to create a, a training ground mentally, right? I always look at certain things and how can I make it into a tool and how can I learn from it? How can I, you know, gain value from it? And with training, it's one of those things where you can use this as a way to get out of your comfort zone, right? Set that goal, not be a victim to instant gratification and put in work. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 Another portion that I think about when getting stronger is muscular endurance. You know, can we understand cardiovascular endurance? Well, muscular endurance is a whole different beast where you're able to stay strong throughout multiple sets. And you're not just strong for the first, you know, set or two, and then your strength just goes in the gutter. So we'll do another set with 315, see how that feels, and then I'll make adjustments from there. So let's get into it. I'll be honest, if I didn't have an astronomical goal that's bigger than the gym and trying to get swollen and jacked, I don't think I would be doing it for this long with the same level of intensity. I don't think I would be able to keep it up because my motivation, my inspiration wouldn't be as strong. It would be too short-lived. My, my inspiration, if it was just about the gym, it would just be a short-lived, it would just be as short as like when the summer's over. I'd be going crazy to get to the summer. Summer's done, then I'd go back, you know, go back to my old ways. I had to make the, the goal and what I want like huge, and like the driving force has to be huge. That's what kept me in the game. And continues even just with when things aren't going my way and like failures and setbacks, no matter how much I'm like, man, that's it, I'm out. I give up, I can't do it. There's still always some sort of spark, something that just keeps me going. So. So. Oh, <sighs> 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 
You know, I come across people who are like, oh, man, you take it too seriously, you're too obsessed, you're too this, you're too that. Okay, what's, well, what, what's the alternative? Huh? To do it half-assed, to lightly do it, to lightly touch it, all right? No, you gotta be freaking obsessed with it, <sighs> okay? Because when I was just half-assing it, I really wasn't getting anywhere. Oh. So it's... <clears throat> Being obsessed with the goals what got me here. I'm not turning back. Well, <laughs> 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 